Tensions fuel to new levels over the disputed islands in the East China Sea. In the latest developments, China says it's deployed fighter jets to patrol a new self-declared airspace defense zone. The military are calling it a defensive measure. Their air force now on high alert to deal with diverse air threats. The country's rejected international criticism. There are a number of countries in this region who all have territorial claims. And so as China's power rises in the region, of course, the Chinese have their own strategic interests. But if those strategic interests collude directly with the interests of, for example, Korea, the U.S., uh, Japan and other ASEAN states, there will be, of course, uh, political repercussions. Meanwhile, strengthening its ties near but not within China's defense zone, America and Japan in a joint military exercise. U.S. Navy sources have said that this year's exercise focuses on maritime patrol and aircraft carrier operations. But it was planned a year ago before China's announcement. The new Chinese zone covers these disputed islands in the East China Sea, and it dramatically overlaps an existing Japanese zone. It now insists all planes crossing this airspace must submit a flight plan in advance. But America, Japan and South Korea say they've flown military aircrafts through the zone in the past few days without informing China. On Thursday, Japan announced it would continue its routine surveillance activity backed by the U.S. Japan and the United States should not make irresponsible remarks because they make no sense. We also ask Japan and the United States to reflect on themselves and put an end to statements and actions that may harm regional stability. The zone feud now threatens to overshadow the U.S. vice president's trip to Beijing next week, as the fear is that these shows of force could lead to an unplanned military incident. Katerina Mo, BBC News.